Hi everybody, so I just wanted to do a video for you. Today is Veda Day 20 and surprisingly I've actually done a video every day. Anyways, um, today the video I'm going to do is crib versus co-sleeping and like what our plans are with this baby and what we've done in the past. Let me start and say that my first primary source of information and what I originally learned from before I was ever a mom was early childhood education classes because that was my major in college and that is what my degree is in, is in early childhood education and so that's basically designed for, I mean there's parenting stuff too, but it's mostly designed for daycare and development and large group settings and stuff like that and just like health standards and whatnot. When I was in college, we were made to watch videos on um, the dangers of co-sleeping. We were never allowed, like in the daycares, we had to have babies on their back with nothing in their crib whatsoever. And that is just the way we had to do things. And honestly, I was scared to death to ever have a baby sleep any other way. Like if a baby fell asleep in a swing, you had to move them to the crib. Uh, if a baby fell asleep on you, you had to set them down, even if they woke up immediately. It didn't matter if you were wide awake, you still had to set them down. That is basically was my first bit of info. And then when I had Evelyn, my first daughter, I stuck with that and I never let her sleep with me. I think one or two times ever I like fell asleep when she was a newborn while she was on me and we both fell asleep on the couch or something and I woke up like mortified. I was so scared. I was so relieved that she was alive because I was so sure that something horrifying would happen. Anyways, and she was fine and she's a great sleeper and all of that great lovely thing, but then when I had Josiah and uh, he was nursing all the time and I really tried hard not to let him sleep with us. We had the crib next to our bed, which is what we're doing this time as well. But he just really liked to be right next to me and he wanted to nurse every 45 minutes. So I ended up doing some more research and I knew a lot of, like in my mommy groups and stuff, I knew a lot of people who did co-sleep. And I was just like really worried about it. And actually, if you watch my controversial parenting tag that I did like a year and a half, two years ago, um, I think I think in that video I say that I am a, against co-sleeping. I'm not okay with it, which is hilarious because that was when I was pregnant with Josiah. And now I don't see a big issue because I learned that basically the risk of co-sleeping is only if you are on drugs or if you had drank that night and there's really especially for a breastfeeding mother virtually no risk at all if you are in a safe place of course you want to make sure that they can't like fall right off the bed especially if they're more if they're getting more mobile but if you make sure that that's not going to happen when you're co-sleeping with your baby uh your instincts your natural instincts are not going to run them roll them over or whatever and if you're not drinking or doing anything dangerous then it's not gonna happen co-sleeping in itself is okay it's mixing other things with co-sleeping that causes a problem so needless to say i did end up co-sleeping with josiah quite a bit i'd always put him to bed in his crib uh because i did want him to know how to fall asleep on his own but if he woke up in the middle of the night, I brought him into bed with me and he usually stayed there. And we did that for a long time. And honestly, it was nice. I liked it. It was easy. It was nice to breastfeed. He'd wake up. I'd just like pop out the boob and he'd go right to sleep and I could go right to sleep too. I didn't have to get out of bed. It was lovely. <laughs> Anyways, so that's kind of how things happened. And he does sleep on his own now. He never sleeps with us anymore. And he's 19 months old, so it's not too bad. Um, yeah, it is fine. So basically, for my plans now, crib versus co-sleeping, I still have the crib right next to my bed. And basically what I do is I put the baby down in the crib that's right next to our bed. And this is for the first few months until they start sleeping long enough for me to put them in their own room. But I'll put the baby in the crib. And the first time they wake up at night, if... 
I need to get them out of bed, then I can put them in bed with me and the crib actually works as a nice barrier so the baby's not going to fall off of our bed um, because there's basically the crib, here's the bed, and here's the crib rails are like this so it works as a nice barrier and then here's me and then here's the baby right here. So that's kind of how it works and then I'll let the baby nurse. Sometimes I'll put the baby back down in the crib. Sometimes I'll just let the baby sleep with me and I don't mind it. And from all the research I've done, there is no risk. So originally, when I was a first time mom, and even pregnant the second time, I was scared to death and so against co-sleeping. And they had to be in their crib with nothing at all. And I still don't like to put them with blankets and I still limit, like if the baby's sleeping with me, I limit that because that is a little bit of a risk. But the baby being next to you is not the risk. And now I am totally for co-sleeping and I think it can be a complete lifesaver and it's especially wonderful when you're breastfeeding and I support it 125%. So yeah, that is my thoughts on crib versus co-sleeping. Leave your comments below, ask any questions you want to ask, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!